What's cool, what's groovy, what's happening? So today we're gonna to talk about how to fix a washing machine that has stopped pumping properly. You might have received an error code on the machine, you're freaking out, everybody's in quarantine, who's gonna fix my washing machine? Well, that would be you. So today we're gonna to go through how to do that. If you like this video, like it, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and share this video. Let's get right into it. So this is my washing machine here, it's a Siemens. I've discovered four things that might ensure that your washing machine is not actually pumping properly. The first thing is this container here where you put your washing detergent, your vanish, and your fabric softener, or this tube that actually drains most of your water when you're washing, or it's down here where you got another tube and another twisty thing, and it kind of looks like this. So it's down, down, down there, and usually it's covered up with something. Um, that might also be a problem, so let's get right into it. To get rid of the blockage, you might need a steamer. If you don't have that, you can put hot water or like warm, very warm water into like a watering can and you can pour it. And yeah, otherwise, it's this black tube thing. Just take the white cap off and make sure you drain it properly and make sure you have a bucket handy and just drain it. There's always gonna be water coming from there because not all the water just goes through the other tube. And the biggest thing for me, and this is what solved my problem, was this thing right here. It's quite tight to open at first, especially if you've never opened it before. There's a lot of people that do not go down here, but it's very, very important. So I removed that and look at all the water that was just gushing out. So I had to put way more things down there to make sure it didn't just go everywhere. And I had to mop underneath the washing machine afterwards as well. So make sure you have enough cloths down there. And would you look at that? That was a color catcher. You know those things that make sure that you can put like colored things together with a bit lighter colored things without the color bleeding yeah so i removed that from that wheel thing over there that was not able to move and that's very important so you put your hand back there and make sure that it's actually turning once it's turning and it's fine and it's not blocked you close it again and you're good to go you make sure that thing is standing upright vertically then you know that you're good to go another thing is this tube you make sure the tap is on and you go through a wash cycle a proper wash cycle and you make sure you have about two buckets or three big buckets because you're gonna wash and all the water is gonna go in these buckets this was so gunky and disgusting because all the fabric and all the fabric softener and the powder and whatever else gets all clunked together and goes through these tubes and as you see these tubes are not very big and they've got a bit of ridges going on over there so yeah it needs some tender loving care so these were my buckets and then I had to rush to the bathroom and chuck them the water out in the loo but yeah, so make sure you have enough and make sure you're close enough to a loo or somewhere where you can dispose of the water. It was really gunky, it was really brown and disgusting. I spared you guys that. So I used a steamer to actually go inside the tube and ensure that all the gunk was kind of loosened. And then once I put it down into the bucket, the water would flow and rinse it out. And that really helped. But if you don't have that, use a watering can. Then I cleaned out this container. I removed the container and I cleaned it out with the steamer and also with some hot cloth. And that really made it very very clean now if you're using washing powder make sure you get one of these balls and just add it to your wash put it in the middle somewhere there so it does not clog up your container and that might also be of great help i hope these things help you out hit the bump stomp as soon as that subscribe button like comment share i'll see you in the next one which will be very soon god bless bye Mwah.